Welcome to Unreal Engine Basics. Using a widget switcher. The widget switcher is a widget component that allows us to show a widget or set of widgets at a particular index in the widget switcher. The widget switcher in these examples can be used to switch between different categories of related data. Inventories, game options are good examples of where the widget switcher can be implemented. Once you have learned the basics then you can find many inventive ways to use the widget switcher in your game. Now we will create a widget switcher in our own user created widget. Right click in the content browser then select user interface then widget blueprint. This will then bring up a search window but we will select the user widget button. We have now created our user widget so rename the widget. In this example I have named it w underscore switch. Now double click the widget to open it for editing. Now add a canvas panel to the widget, then another canvas panel inside the first. Now add an image and place it between the two canvas panels. Set the anchor to fill the whole canvas then set the tint to black. This will function as our background. We could also use a border for this purpose. Now, drag a vertical box onto the second canvas panel. Next, add a horizontal box to the vertical box. Now, we can start adding the buttons that will control our widget switcher. Drag text onto our first button. Now duplicate the button four times to give us a total of five buttons. Now edit the text inside each button so you can identify each button. Make sure your canvas panels and other items anchors are set to fill the panels. Now select all the buttons and add some right hand padding to spread them out a little bit. Once that is complete we add a second horizontal box to the vertical box. This will have our widget switcher attached. Now go ahead and add a widget switcher to the horizontal box. Center the widget with the alignment options. Now add a size button to the widget switcher and set the minimum width and height to 200 for both. Next 
add an image to the size box. Now duplicate the size box four times for a total of five. Next, expand each size box and change the image tint colour for each image so we will see a different colour for each button. Now we can discuss how the widget switcher references each item within it. Each item is connected to the root of the widget switcher is automatically given an index within the widget. This index starts at zero and goes up for each item in the widget switcher. In our example, this shows the following. Now go to your player controller and create your widget and add to viewport. Pressing play will show our widget, but the buttons don't do anything. That's because we haven't hooked them up yet or got them to control our widget switcher. Return to our widget and move over to the graph view and delete the default events. To make our buttons make more sense and correspond to their operation, rename each button as necessary. Now that's been done, add the on clicked event for the first button. Now drag in the widget switcher reference. Drag off the node and type active in the search box. Select set active widget index and connect the execution pin to the on clicked event. Leave the first index at zero. Remember, the first index in our widget switcher is zero. Now add the on clicked event for each button in turn and copy paste the widget switcher reference and set active widget index nodes and connect to each button. Set each index on the set active widget index, adding one each time. You should finish with each button having a different index from 0 to 4. Now, press play and click on your buttons. This should show different colours for each of the different images in the widget switcher. To show the flexibility of the widget switcher, we can change out our size box with image for a user widget. In this example, I've added both a simple timer and health bar and swapped these out. Now you can see the results in the widget switcher.